Hey guys, it's Kate, and uh, this is a an unplanned vlog, really. Um, I'm uh, huh, got some pretty paintings behind me, but I'm at uh, I'm up on Bainbridge Island, Washington, at my uh, at my family home, and uh, just um, hanging out here with my mom. My dad has been very ill. Um, so I left, uh, I left the Seminole early. Um, he had been having some problems, uh, previously. And then, uh, just sit down here. Makes it a little easier. <laughs> uh, he'd been having some problems, um, the last few weeks. Um, sort of a slow decline. And then, um really took a drastic turn um Wednesday night and Thursday um you know so I got a call that he uh was getting admitted to the hospital he had severe heart failure um and we honestly didn't think he was going to make it he had a extraction factor of less than 10 percent which is how much your ventricles move blood um so he's been in the uh, cardiac intensive care unit for a week and uh, he's been improving and I just, you know, hopefully he comes home tomorrow or maybe the next day. That's what our hope is. And But it's been definitely, you know, you think that you're prepared mentally for these things but honestly it was a real shock and it really really shook me um just how quickly it was sort of like this chronic thing and then all of a sudden just <sighs> very life-threatening and um just I'm really grateful for everybody that's prayed and reached out and it's hard to know what to do and and in these situations and you know I'm just trying to do the best I can and be here with my family and it's just hard so a lot of prayer and just a lot of hope and so that's what's going on and uh it's it's been I haven't done much content the last few days I've been focused more on family stuff but I'm trying to do a little bit just to keep keep my my focus and and do all that and and pray for my dad that he gets out and we can see each other and and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be sending me off shortly thereafter uh, to uh, go out into the world <laughs> He's very stubborn. If you think I'm stubborn, you have, I have nothing compared to my dad. So, but anyways, I wanted to share, uh, some of the fishing I had on Kissimmee. I did some pre-fishing for Seminole and, and, and did, uh, get in some contact with some bass there, but unfortunately didn't get, uh, time really to do the tournament. Um, that's okay. Cause family comes first and, um, you know, did the best there that I could and and uh it's just a very adverse situation and but uh Kissimmee was difficult it was my first time back in the kayak and first tournament first time fishing eight hours in months and uh it was definitely a challenge for my body and but I felt good I, I did not get my limit on both days but I, I wasn't as concerned with that as just being able to be out for both days and try my best to compete and I did okay I mean I got a few fish each time and I feel good about that so onwards and upwards and it, it's still it's still a challenge I still got a lot of uh, stuff I gotta do and and um, so you gotta hang in there and keep showing up and keep fighting and you know know who you are and and enjoy who you are and and uh just try and do your best and be a good person and it's not always going to be perfect often isn't perfect 
even close. So you guys gotta keep doing it. So there's my update. And here's some of the fish I caught. <laughs> I did not bring my don't be a pie cat, guys. This is not fair. <laughs> my first bird or worm. Uh, yeah, not good. There are pike here, I guess. Or pickerel. Is that pickerel? I don't know. Well, Kim Lange just commented on my uh, my post that only I could go to Florida and catch a dang pickerel. It's true. I do have that special talent for uh, catching those toothy critters because I don't want to catch them. Woo. But uh, I got to be honest, man. This is so different than anything I'm used to, and it's just a big, steep learning curve. And I've been out here, uh, I don't know, a couple hours. I'll probably do maybe, I'm gonna start working my, whoops. I'm gonna start working my way back. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm just physically struggling. Fog's burning off, and I just think if I just work my way back, get sort of used to this, and, uh, just a little bit each day and and try my best that's all I can do and this is a big learning curve I don't I I don't know what to do with this so I'm experimenting and uh, it's okay I'm gonna keep working on it it probably won't be the tournament I'm gonna win <laughs> at all but uh, I'm thinking positive, and I'll tell you what, this is all good experience for me, and that's what I want. It's the only way to get better, is to challenge yourself and fish stuff that you just have no clue and try and pull that puzzle apart. All right, I got one, one measurable one. Got one right here. I don't know if it recorded, but uh, got a little 12 and a half right here. So I'm gonna just check my picture before I let him go and uh, make sure we're okay here. Another one. I don't know if this is measurable, but it might be. Might be. It's a little bigger. Might be a little bigger. All right, guys. Well, I finally caught one today. Here we go. Look at that beauty. We got one. Got one in the net. And uh, not skunked. did it again all right I missed uh, three got another one and the GoPro wasn't working GoPro wasn't working so sorry about that <laughs> got, like fish goo okay but, uh, let's uh got them right here at least chilled out a little bit maybe try and take a under chat relax Relax, relax. 
capture. Capture. I know. You just hold on, little buck bass. You just hold on. I don't know if you'll be 12 or not. What the heck is this thing? Good lord, jumped in my boat. Is a snake head. Is it a gar? Uh, no, it's nasty. Well, that's it. End of day two for the Kissimmee trail number two. I got day today. Pretty much been hiding out here uh, from the wind because it's really it's white capping over there, and uh, it's like 20 mile an hour. So, but uh. I got a couple, lost a few, got a big bowfin. And uh, my first tournament of the year is done. And I'm just, uh, guys, I'm just so pleased right now. I'm just so pleased. Uh, I got some fish and uh, I'm getting my conditioning back and that's gonna be a good year. So thanks for watching and I'm tired. <laughs> I need a beer. See you later, bye-bye. GoPro, stop recording.